everyone, today I've got your Premium Rush movie review. This movie stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who plays this biker messenger guy in New York City, and he delivers all these packages, Premium Rush, and he makes sure that he gets the job done, and he always has this really cool way of making sure that his routes are clear. He receives a package from this girl that he knows who just happens to be roommates with this girl that he likes, that works with him. It's very urgent that he delivers this. However, there is somebody else who wants the package. He says this thing in the movie like, uh, once it's in the bag, it stays in the bag. Michael Shannon and he I can't even begin to express in words just how unlike necessary his character was. I mean, I'm sorry if anybody will agree, uh, disagree with me on this. I just feel like his character was, I don't know, I just didn't find his character very believable. I mean, there were times in the movie where he would, I don't know, say things that you know, felt like, you know, his character, but I just feel like his character was completely underdeveloped. I mean, we know that he's just some guy who is chasing down Joseph Gordon-Levitt um, on the busy streets of New York, and already, like, he's trying to, like, cause some trouble and Joseph Gordon-Levitt is trying to do whatever it takes to get away from him, but he just keeps popping up. It doesn't help that he has like the crazy eyes and um, he just always has this demeanor and this attitude where he just wants to punch every single guy that he sees. Literally. I just kind of felt that sometimes during the movie he would be, like he was getting really annoying and I just wanted him to stop. It may be because I was more interested in seeing Joseph Gordon-Levitt, which is the reason why I saw this movie in the first place. His character, I mean, he definitely, I will admit, he did play a good bad guy. He had those certain traits where he showed how bad he was and how far he was willing to go to get what he wanted. And that's the only thing that I can really say about his character. For Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, I thought he was really good and, as always, he knows how to be a really good, awesome action star. And this movie isn't technically like action-y, but it's really fast-paced and I mean I've seen um, different shows and movies where they have these intense bike races and these scenes, these stunts that they did in the movie were real. Like they were actually, uh, I heard that Joseph Gordon-Levitt got like stitches and I think he got like 23 stitches because the bike stunts were real. There were scenes where I could tell when there was a stunt driver, stunt biker. Most of the stunts I liked that the actors were actually doing them. So that was the one other thing that impressed me. I feel like the um, the story itself, it felt really fast paced and I, I felt like I couldn't really catch some of the stuff that was going on and it was almost getting to the point where I was feeling almost bored with it. I mean besides like I mean, I was really into all the action and what was going on, but just some of the scenes I felt were really unnecessary and just needed to either be longer, I guess. So that was one of the things that really irked me. I thought that there was the um, sort of secret romance or like the, I don't know, it felt like almost like a forced romance between, I don't know what the girl's name is, but she was the main girl biker and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character who's always trying to get with her, but then she liked this other guy who wanted to have these little bike competitions, which I felt was a really cool scene in the movie. And I liked how they showed different camera angles and points of view um, just to see how intense uh, the biking actually was, because I would be afraid. They were getting hit by cars. I really liked how they were sort of doing the, uh, they, they did little shots where they showed like the bike routes and how far like you would go. So just like those little things I really liked about it. But 
Other than that, I would say that this movie was just okay. I really like the action in the movie and the intense stunts. I feel like the acting um, itself, I, I feel like the acting was very lackluster. It could have been a little bit better, but I'm not going to blame the actors for that. It was all in the writing and just all the character development I feel like was a little bit off except for the one guy that I thought was really funny was um, I don't know the actor's name but he was the guy that was basically calling in all the um, like delivery things and he worked at the um, place where they do the deliveries I forgot his name but he was in the proposal so that was the other character that I really really liked let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Premium Rush, if you liked any particular thing about it, what was it. If you guys want, you can subscribe to my channel, I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trailer Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.